Is daddy a good daddy? No. I owe it to myself at least. All this stuff I owe it to myself. Is daddy a good daddy? No. Is daddy a good daddy? No. It's up to me. Like I'm the only one who can blame myself if I'm not great. I'm the only one who can blame myself for, you know, letting bad days get the best of me or not doing what I'm supposed to do. At the end of the do. day, I just want to be great. I just want to be what God has me. How can you love somebody if you don't love yourself? be a stereotype I don't want to be you know just some guy that came in his life past and that's all he did I want to be great but with greatness comes you know I have to combine my talent my time my hard work all that's got to come together so I can be great I got a lot to live for sometimes I don't feel like I have a lot to live for but I definitely have a whole lot to live for I just want to be this great dad you know at the end of the world you know, all you have is your kids. I mean, you have your faith in God, but all all you have at the end of the day is your kids. And my daughter means the world to me. She absolutely means that. So many people strive to be great, and everybody can't be great. I mean, sometimes it, it takes more than just wanting it. You have to dream it. You have to see it. You have to visualize yourself being better. You have to want it more than anything. And most important, if you don't have God, you really, you're not going to have anything much as you want it, you're not going to have anything if you don't have God, your faith in God. <laughs> That's just real. Nobody will outwork me. I mean, I, I put my heart and soul to when I work out. I go in the gym with a mindset that I can't be defeated. I'm going to be able to lift whatever is in front of me, and I'm just go in and, and do what I have to do. You put in the work, you get the results. You know, a lot of people... They walk in, their eyes are everywhere, they're looking at everybody else, and they're not focused on what they're doing. When I go in the gym, I get a clear head, I get a clear mind. I, I just focus on where I want to go, where I want to be physically, and I just work hard. That's my mindset. I walk in the gym, and I say, I'm going to outwork everybody in here, no matter what. <laughs> Light work. Light work. It's so easy to say you want to be in shape. It's easy to say that you want to be somewhere physically, but... It makes no sense if you don't do the things, the necessary steps, you know, the dieting, the 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 extra, the burnouts, all the sets that make you better, all the sets that will push you to the next level. So many people are so afraid to do that extra set or they feel like, oh, nobody's going to spot me. Oh, nobody's going to help me get to the next level. But you have to want it more than anybody else. You know, one of my biggest motivations, one of my biggest uh, influences is that, you know, I hated that I couldn't wear certain clothes. I hated that I would go in the store and I would see a shirt or I would see a pair of jeans that I liked. And I was like, man, I can't wear that. And I thought to myself, too, like, I want to be able to run around with my little girl. You know, when she gets to the age where she can play sports and even when she's a teenager, I was like, I want to be able to outrun my daughter. So, you know, that's one of my motivations. That's why I work so hard. And, you know, it's either hard work or you're not working. So that's my motivation just to get in there and be the best.